I grew up on a reservation called the Spokane Res. There's drinking, drugging, parties. I was running around, I was burglarizing, I was stealing a lot. I was up against a lot, so I reached out to Indian Alliance. Helen Indian Alliance was formed in 1969. The, the part of it was in response to a lot of the Native Americans moving off the reservations into the urban settings. Urban Indian organizations are that unique bridge between a tribal entity and a medical facility. We provide a culturally comprehensive approach to care off the reservation. I just wanted to go where my cultural background is offered as well. It helps me heal while learning your culture at the same time. We have had a huge increase in overdose deaths in our community. Homelessness, domestic violence. It's really been sad. There's been a lot of suicide in our community amongst our young folks. You know, I used to have a say in it. I was like, oh, I don't have a heart. I don't have one. It's frozen. It's in a sheet of ice. You know what I mean? because I was kind of institutionalized. So I'm not very, I didn't know how to approach people correctly. And learning that from them is what helped me talk to other people in the community. The whole idea behind whole person wellness is not separating the head from the body. We try to treat the whole person, their mental health, um, if there's substance use, if there's physical health conditions that they're struggling with. And we really come at that from a, a team-based approach. We're really working for our clients to make sure all of their health needs are met under one roof. One of the impediments that we have found in our judicial system, the criminal justice system, is there are so many individuals in our community that commit crimes largely based upon their substance use and our co-occurring mental health issues. You know, we just keep beating our head against the wall. Our goal is to say, instead of waiting till after we sentence them to some kind of treatment, we're going to open up the doors and hopefully facilitate treatment early. Our doors are open to everyone, all demographics. You don't have to be Native to come here. We will see anyone and everyone. My philosophy is that we need to work with everyone that, that we can to bridge those gaps. That is the approach we've had here, and I think we've seen a lot of doors open. I've struggled with mental illness my entire life. It's unfortunately in the fabric of my being came in here a complete mess. I needed something that was gonna help me, that was gonna be sustainable. She was in a very difficult situation, worked at a very entry-level challenging job, uh, didn't have any higher education under her belt. Emily is a person that really took advantage of a lot of our programming. We worked with Housing Navigation to get her on a affordable housing voucher in the Helena community. She has since gone on to get three college degrees. It was either take my life or take hold of my life. Overall, the amount of progress that the Helen Indian Alliance has made in our community over the last five years is pretty miraculous. And that's what we need in this community, is more people to care about another person. HIA is, is the epitome of helping others. The Helena Indian Alliance is a place where you know that it is safe. For me, this is home.